Did I hear that beep? Oh, that must mean we're on, right? Okay, are you ready? Can the kids see this, Ernie? Yeah. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Yes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the virtual classroom. Do you know what today is? National Star Wars. That was, that was yesterday. Today's day 35 of our virtual classroom, and it's May 5th, the year 2020. And today is called Cinco de Mayo. It's a Mexican holiday. It, it's a Mexican Independence Day. So. Uh, today, I counted these blocks in Espanol. I, I counted one to ten in Spanish. And kindergartners, and I'm starting to think of you as kindergartners because I know many of you are feeling ready. I know many of you are ready. Next year, when you're at your elementary school, you get to start learning Spanish. In kindergarten, you get, is it 20 minutes a week, Ernie? What? Yeah, 20 for, minutes For the a week. kindergartners. And then when you're in first grade, how much do you get? 20 minutes a week. 20 minutes a week? Yeah. I thought you get more with profane. No, we get like two, you get two sessions a week, but they're both 20 minutes. Okay, so then it's 40 minutes a week yeah. in first grade. Okay, excellent. But for Miss Grant, you have three times a month and half an hour. And for Coach B... And Mr. Nepper, two times for half an hour. Thank you for sharing all that. I think what we're going to do is, I know a lot of you are getting ready for kindergarten now, and I think I'm going to do it in focus with Ernie about kindergarten. He's a first grader now, and so he lived a whole year in, in kindergarten. And I'm going to ask him tips to help you succeed next year in kindergarten. So we are really thinking forward right now. Let's get to, the, let's get to today. Let's get to the present. And we should do that with... Content. Well, well, well. I have some excellent team content to share with you guys today. Oh, I need some space. Move this down here. There we go. Get a little closer. Marvelous team content, my friend. Sienna, you turned in four different artifacts of learning yesterday. You drew R2-D2. Can I show them? I'll take a break. I want to show them what you did. The assignment was to draw what you see. Look at what she did. She drew R2-D2. That was so wonderful, Sienna. Thank you for doing that. I loved seeing your R2. And she also built herself a wonderful calm down kit. And uh, I think that's an activity a lot of you should be thinking about. And uh, everybody from Section B, see what Sienna added to her kit. She really adds some great stuff to it. I think it's very helpful. You did a wonderful job on that. She participated in the photo riddles and she showed us an update about her bean race. She has four beans that are racing right now. So check that out. I don't know which one is gonna grow out of that bag first. Eddie sent in two items yesterday. Uh, he was working on that Lego game that Miss Sarah suggested last week. So I thought that was really wonderful. And he spent the whole week building a kindness pizza. It looks delicious. And there were so many ways that Eddie has been kind to his family and doing great deeds around the house. So keep up that great work, Eddie. I, Anj, I'm always curious when it gets to be the weekend time, I think in my head, I wonder where I, Anj, is going this weekend. 
This past weekend, he went to go visit wildflowers at Carly State Park. That's another state park I haven't been to, so thanks for the idea, Ionch. Maybe we'll go check out some wildflowers too. The wildflowers are starting to pop, that's for sure. And then he drew a wonderful laundry basket. He's drawing what he sees. He really sat down, he thought about it. He drew a really wonderful laundry basket. And Adam, <laughs> yesterday I went to the post office, I delivered all the medallions I could mail, and then I drove around town dropping off all the medallions I could drop off. And when I got to Adam's house, he was outside playing with his family. So I got a chance to say hello. Adam, it was so nice to see you yesterday. And uh, he can't quite say medallion yet, but he calls it his dallion. He calls it his dallion. That's pretty cool. It was really fun to be able to give you your dallion in, in, in person. And finally, I felt excited about the uh, Draw What You See Challenge, so I took my little I took my little R2-D2 and I put him down on the table and I drew, did I do an okay job? Eh, it's all right. And this is, this is what R2, he has a message for you. Listen up, get your listening ear ready. Are you ready? Beep, beep, boo, eep, boo, ba, boo, beep, boo. <laughs> That means keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you, R2. <laughs> we will try. Oh, I see more dalliums. Oh, dalliums! Who's going to be the next dallion? I don't know, but they're blank, ready. Blank. They're blank, but they're ready. We're going to get them. You keep doing team content, and a dallion is coming your way. Keep coming to our virtual classroom, too, because we count you down for attendance. Very excited for three more daily three activities today. Uh, the first one is called Fingerprint Stories. Be inspired by the art of Ed Emberley and dive into the world of fingerprint art. Can you create some fun creatures? Can you build a story or maybe even your own comic book? So I provided a link to this wonderful artist and he teaches kids how to make art. And one of his big thing is, is uh, fingerprint art. So uh, on this link, you're gonna see all kinds of things you can make with just your fingers and thumbs. So that's kind of cool, have fun with that. And then wash up real well. Uh, popsicle catapult. This is a great one, but you need popsicle sticks or some kind of sticks. So I hope you have this material at your house or I hope you can improvise. Build your own launcher, build a target too. What can you launch? How far can you launch it? I don't know. I'm going to have to see. This is going to be very exciting. Make sure you show us. I want to see pictures. And then the last one is called Domino Chain Reaction. Watch this video and see if you have enough materials at your house to create a chain reaction. What's the longest chain reaction you can construct? Make your own video out of it. So of course, uh, for number two and three there, there's links. So you follow those links and they'll give you some project ideas. I have myself uh, some dominoes. Should I make a chain reaction? All right. Put my... Okay, chain reaction. You have to be so careful. If you knock it over, what happens? If you knock it over, you have to start again. <laughs> oh, I didn't know this was going to be so frustrating. Oh, boy. Let me see how more we can do. Maybe, maybe even if you have more dominoes than you know what to do with, you could share them and maybe you can build with somebody else or maybe you guys can have a domino rally race. This is domino chain reaction. Should I do one more? Yeah. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. On your mark. Get set. You did all of did them. did all of that. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's okay, Perfect Pattern Bell. Did you hear something? I think Perfect Pattern Bell is having a hard time. Perfect Pattern Bell noticed something. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Oh no. Orange, blue. Orange. Orange. Sorry guys, no perfect pattern today. It's not a big deal. We can do it tomorrow, I bet. Keep sending in your content, okay? We'll figure that part out. I'm very excited to share our resource of the day, which is centered on the idea of socio-emotional learning. I mean, it's also called social-emotional learning. And that is such a big concept for us in preschool. It's something we work really hard on in the classroom. And I have to make these new curriculum matrixes, make matrices each week. And it's really hard to find high quality activities, but I, I'm asking my friends, I'm asking my colleagues, I'm getting great resources. And this one looks like it's from Miss Jessie. She sent this in and I'll put this link on, today, on today's um, virtual classroom, 30, episode 35, I will link it. And she has a, some wonderful posters, activities, and ideas. If you have a printer, there's actually some printouts that you can do. And it, I like a lot of these. You know, this one is all about teachable moments, how to help your child avoid meltdowns. I mean, we all need help with that. We, we all do. And there's different games you can play. I have a couple activities coming up next week that are rooted out of this. There's a feeling chart. How do I feel today? And there's activities for calming down. So I'm gonna put this link up. I hope it's useful for you. I know this is a lot of work we would do in the classroom together, but now we have to do it a different way because of the time of COVID. But we'll adapt, we'll make sure. So thank you, Miss Jessie, for those valuable resources. I don't have many parent notes today, but what I would say is that our, our uh, virtual playtime is happening tomorrow, and I'm gonna issue the link early in the morning so you know, uh, you know the time. It's gonna be from three to four, but then you'll also have the link, the Google Meet link. And uh, tomorrow's focus is doodles. So make sure you bring a pad, Bring something to doodle with. Uh, if, you, if you have lots of colors and you, you want to make something really cool, or uh, it's up to you. And we, we're just going to be able to doodle. We'll be able to show each other what we're doing and we'll have some fun. So make it if you can. And if you can't, don't worry about it. We can meet another time. And also folks are starting to take me up on the, uh, the offer just to meet with you and your child. So I do have, I have to, Plenty of time to make that happen. So if you just want to have a meeting with Mr. Rob, let me know. We will make it happen, okay? All right. Who's been finding dandelions all over the place? Have you? Oh, the dandelions are back, okay? So <laughs> I have a wonderful story called dandelions. I I think you will enjoy it. I think you even ha haven't done your first dandelion run of today. I haven't, so maybe I'll do that after lunch. Ernie knows I, I collect the dandelions from our yard before they turn to seed, because we're trying to control them without the chemicals, but it's kind of a, uh, it's a hard effort, but we'll see. And then I have a few more songs from Sing With Me. Our rain never came, so, I, maybe we'll still ring, sing those rain songs from yesterday anyway. Uh, I want to thank you for joining us for this edition of the Virtual Classroom. I want to thank you for your continued effort, doing your activities at home, and sharing and showing us how you learn. Any, Ernie, do you have anything to say to the friends? Mm. Bye! I'll say bye too. You guys have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.